Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell below. Uh, I am super excited for today's beer. I'm actually at L. Smith in San Diego, California, and um, they have a special barrel room. They have a bunch of awesome stuff on draft there, um, and awesome stuff in the regular tap room as well. Uh, it's a good thing I Ubered here, <laughs> and it will be Ubering back to the hotel. So uh, I'm actually doing the double barrel aged um, Speedway Stout. I love Speedway Stout. Um, I think in, as terms or in terms of coffee stouts, it is without a doubt one of my favorite produced period. Um, I think it's great fresh. I think it's great, great aged. And um, I just did a small pour of the uh, regular bourbon barrel aged uh, from this year. So this being the double barrel aged, and yes, yeah, see, I'm Smith. I'm not lying to you. Um, it was. It's a 2017. Uh, is when they brewed the beer and they put it in bourbon barrels for somewhere between a year and 18 months I believe um, and then they put it in the port barrels so that's the double barrel uh, for about what well, I think it was seven or eight months is what the uh, bartender told me so uh, I've had a couple sips but let's do a proper review um, as you can see it is very dark there's a little bit of brown in there but it's certainly a, a very 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 dark big beer oh and it's also 13% ABV let's get into the aroma Not surprising, you do get a lot of um, like the, the spirit, sweetness. Uh, I'm definitely skewing more towards the bourbon. Um, I do like port, actually I love port. Um, I get a little bit of that, but definitely the bourbon, and it's not surprising being the, the uh, barrel that, that was aged in longer. And it has that awesome sweetness from it. You know, it, it's not like in, in this world of pastry stouts, it doesn't smell like that at all, but it has that um, barrel sweetness for sure. There is still a roast from the uh, coffee. I don't know at what point the coffee um, is added to this beer. Um, so if, if it's from 2017, then maybe that roast is actually just coming from the roasted malts, but there is still that roast quality. And you're definitely getting things like the vanilla, some coconut in the um, regular barrel aged, uh, bourbon barrel aged one I did before this, not on camera. Um, I got a decent level of coconut and I do get some of that here as well. Uh, let's see about the taste. Cheers. Yeah, shocker, it's delicious. You get that syrupy mouth coating spirit barrel thing um, a lot like the aroma it is bourbon forward but unlike the aroma you get a lot more of that port it's very specific to the port taste yeah you have that wine grapey thing but like it's you know port is so much more than it's not grape juice obviously so you get that very specific port a little bit of the oak tannins um, the coconut I got more in the regular just bourbon one from this year. Um, definitely get some of that vanilla. The roast, just like the aroma, is definitely there. Uh, and I'm wondering, just like the aroma, if it's more the roasted malts in there versus a coffee. And probably not super surprising, and I don't want to say the star of this show, but one of the things coming through so amazing and so pleasant is this dark chocolate throughout as other things are, are coming into play as you're drinking it there's just this consistent dark chocolate and as things are coming up and going down it appears that the dark chocolate can peak and go down but it is definitely the one flavor that is there the whole ride and it's awesome that whole ride as i'm talking now i still have some of that dark chocolate and again not pastry stout stuff but you have enough residual sugar still uh, like you know in your mouth on your tongue that there's these moments because of that dark chocolate that sweetness it's almost approaching a milk chocolate but definitely skews that dark chocolate again not super surprising one of the best stouts in america you put it in barrels for a long time it's going to produce something phenomenal this really is a special beer A little bit more coconut that time, which was pleasant. Yeah, I'm gonna go along with the, the bartender told me this is his favorite one of all these barrel aged ones they have on tap right now. And although I haven't tried all of them yet, um, uh, 
I can see why he says that. Awesome stuff. Uh, L. Smith, beautiful facility. Uh, the people have been crazy nice, like so nice. They um, um, uh, could not be better off uh, in better hands here. Um, so definitely, if you're ever in the San Diego area, I recommend checking out L. Smith. Um, awesome draft list, awesome people. You guys are awesome for watching. I always appreciate that, obviously. Uh, check me out on Instagram on Tapped. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.